Hello everyone! So, um, this isn't exactly a tag video, but I sort of saw it as a tag a while ago, um, and I liked the idea, so I figured I'd just do it now. Um, I guess I tag all of you if this is a tag, um, cause I think that these are interesting to see. Um, cause it's sort of like favorites, it might just be, well I guess first I should explain what this is if you didn't see it in the title for some reason. This is just going to be, um, what is in my backup drawer, and I feel like, you know, just like, um, how the, you know, products I regret buying is helpful, you know, monthly favorites, it can just be what you're obsessed with that month. It doesn't mean that it's a wonderful product and you'd repurchase it. Obviously, if you have something in your extras drawer, it was something that you liked well enough to repurchase. So, um, I will just get started. Actually, first I'm going to get started with some stuff that um, I haven't used yet, so, or, you know, stuff that I bought two of without, yeah, anyways, I'll, I'll get there. Um, so I have one of the e.l.f. Zit Zappers. Um, I got two of them. I didn't really like it, but at the time there were only two left at Target, and so I just bought both of them because they were only a dollar. So it's not like I love this so much, but yeah, it's one of the things in my extras drawer. Um, and then I got this L'Oreal Illumination Loose Powder, and this is also, I do like this, but now I have so many other loose eyeshadows that um, I would use in place of this just because of the packaging. Um, but it's, it's nice. I used to, um, I don't know if that will swatch on my hand. Um, I used to just put this on my eyelids every day, and I actually think it's a pretty nice look um, for, like, if you're lazy. Okay, then I have some mascaras that um, I bought because I was throwing, like, I, I'm planning to throw out a lot of my mascaras, um, and I'm sort of just, I don't know why, I just feel like I want to throw them out all at once and then replace them with a new set. I, I don't know why I feel that way, I just do. Um, so I've been sort of, like, stockpiling mascaras so that I can open them all at once and, like, start a new collection. I, that's probably a really stupid thing to do, too, but I just, I feel like I should do that. So anyway, this one is the CoverGirl Volume Exact, and it came this way because I didn't want to open this and put this in. I'll sanitize this before I put it in, but um, I didn't want to open this before, you know, I'm actually ready to open it. Um, this just came free with a hair dye that I got, but um, I decided to put it in here. And then these two um, NYC things that were on clearance, I have the Lengthening Mascara and the Waterproof Mascara. Oh, again, these were things that I bought, like, these are all things that I bought as backups, um, not necessarily because I love them. Well, I don't know because I haven't tried them yet, but yeah, anyways. Okay, so now I guess I'll just move on to the other mascaras that I have, and the rest of these, um, I have tried, and I know that I like. So I actually have five of these in here, not, like, five of these, but, like, I have another one of these plus, like, a single one. Um, I bought these because they were on clearance um, at Target a while ago. Well, I bought some and then I had mentioned them to my mom and she also bought me some. So yeah, I have a bunch of these. But I really, really do like these. It's the uh, Maybelline Colossal in case you didn't recognize the packaging. And then um, the, here we go, the Rimmel Eye Magnifier. I think this is just like regular and waterproof, but oopsie. Um, as you can see, they were 75% off at CVS. So, um, they were like 178 or 182 or something like that each. So I just picked up these two. I really, really like these. Um, then I got two of the Rimmel Volume Flash, and I don't absolutely love these, but again, they were 75% off, and I think that they're at least a decent mascara. So, um, one of them is the Volume Flash, and then this one is the Volume Flash Mousse. And then I think my last mascara is the Almay Pure Blend. I really, really like this stuff. Um, I think it's just, it's great for an everyday look, um, it gives you really natural looking lashes, but they're still, uh, defined, and like, it still gives you a sort of effect with your lashes, but it's not like the really, really super dramatic, like, lashes, and it definitely doesn't clump or make them spidery. Now, um, just some, like, extra e.l.f. tools that I got. I got an extra one of the eyelash and brow wands, and... I wouldn't pay a dollar for this necessarily. You can probably find them cheaper somewhere else, but I bought um, all of these things during their 60% off sale, so this was only 40 cents. I have one up here right now, um, and they're just nice for like uh, when your mascara gets clumpy. Rather than playing with the brush that you know has more mascara on it, just, uh, use one of these and sort of you know figure your lashes out. Um, and then just uh, tweezers. 
can't, they're, they were 40 cents. And then um, an extra of the e.l.f. powder brushes, which I think it would have been like $1.20 on sale, but they're normally $3. I just, I really, really love them, and I don't know, I just, I wanted a backup because I love mine so much. Okay, then these next ones are probably not things that I needed to repurchase this much of, and if I had, um, okay, I'll just show you, but they're the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania, and oopsie, for some reason, these are backups, okay, for some reason I ordered two backups of each of these. The green I can understand, oh, actually no, this one's like half empty, um, but yeah, so the purple, I don't know why, because I don't even wear purple all that much, so if these hadn't been opened, I would probably, like, give them away or something, because I'm just never going to use these. But, um, yeah, the greens, this is in the color Jade, and, or Jade Pearl. I love this color. This was, like, the thing that got me into NYX. I was on the NYX website, and, um, or maybe Cherry Culture, I don't remember, one of the two, and, actually, no, I remember what it was. I was on the NYX website, and this color was sold out, and I was like, no, I need that! And, um, sorry, someone's talking outside, and I wasn't sure if they were talking to me. And, um, so, yeah, I went to Cherry Culture, and they had it, and I don't know why they would have had it, but NYX wouldn't have, but, anyways, um, so I, I ordered one, like, one of each of the green and the purple, and then I got them, and I guess I liked them, and so the next time I placed an order, um, I ordered two backups of each of them. Um, the thing is, it's a really nice color, and I think it was just because I liked it so much, I didn't ever want to risk being without it, but... This is way too much. Okay, then I have a Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Powder in Translucent, and just because this is what I use on my face, like, almost every day, um, one time I, like, I'm, I've hit pan on my current one, and so I just bought this a while ago when Physician's Formula was 50, or buy one, get one 50% off somewhere, just, you know, so I'd have a backup when I ran out. Then this is the Sally Hansen Smile Brightening Lip Treatment. I'm not actually sure if this is still sold in stores, but I really liked it. This one was in Luminous, and I don't know why I've kept it in the box. I just keep keeping it in the box. Um, it's this really, really nice color. It's sort of like the color Talia by NYX. I had one of these, and when I realized that it was simil similar to Talia and it looked really nice over Talia, I bought... Um, actually, no, I think this was the only other one I bought. But, yeah, so bought this. I think it was actually at the dollar store, so I saw it and got all happy. Um, okay. Then for lip stuff. Um, so I have this CL Bigelow Lip Renewal Remedy. Again, this is one of the things that I just bought more than one of, because it, it was originally $16.50. This is from Bath & Body Works, in case you're not familiar with this brand. It was on sale for, like, a dollar. So, um, I didn't actually know what it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, a chapstick form. It's actually, like, ooh, okay. It's actually, like, a little pump bottle. So, um, I like to think that I use it every day, you know, before putting my lipstick on. But in reality, I haven't even gone through one bottle. Um, because it's a pump, I feel like it's sanitary enough that I can keep using it. But, yeah. Um, okay, and then... Um, this is the NYC lipstick in Wild Orchid. I actually have two. This one's been sort of used, but I had more than one, so I just put this one in my extras drawer. But it's a, it's a nice color. Um, it sort of, sort of reminds me of the Rimmel Airy Fairy, but not really. It's more purplish than that, but sort of the same effect with, like, the golden, almost duochrome shimmer to it. Um, so yeah, I had this one because, okay, this was one of the things that I just, I really, really loved. Um, and so I, one time I was at, like, Walgreens, I think, and they were discontinuing the colors. So they had, like, three of them left, I think, and they were 50 cents each. I bought all of them, and I've gone through every single one but this one, and, like, I have a little tiny stub of one in a drawer or a container over there. Um, and then they had these at the dollar store a while ago, so I was like, ooh, okay, and I bought this one. Okay, now these, these are nice. Um, these are the Wet n Wild Mega Plumps. I'm not sure if they're sold anymore, so I'll just sort of, you know, keep it quick. Basically, I have backups of these because, um, I bought them on clearance, and I wasn't looking at the colors and bought three of the same color. So there's one of these over in a drawer somewhere, and then these two are just hanging out. Um, uh, I have two of the Wet n Wild Cover All Cover Sticks, and 
I don't like these at all for concealer, so I'm going to tell you why I do like them. I used to buy them um, whenever they were like buy one get one. Um, I would buy them because I used to make my own eye primers and I would use concealers. So um, I use them for that. I have a video on that if you want to check that out. But um, yeah, so I use them for that. That was why I had so many backups. Um, but yeah, I don't use these as concealers. A lot of this stuff is Sally Hansen just because it was available at the dollar store. Um, so, you know, I would stock up. But, okay, this um, is a Sally Hansen Natural Butter Lip Shine in Bloom. And it's just a really, really pretty, like, pinky color. Well, it looks red in the tube, but then it goes on, like, a nice um, pinkish color. And then this one is Lush. And it's sort of similar to this one. Um, like, they're not the exact same color, but you can see they're sort of, they're similar. This one is a bit deeper um, colored, but they're sort of the same thing. They're both like a cream. I also used to like to wear this one with Talia. I absolutely love these. Um, like, I would be sad if I ran out and didn't have the backups. This is the Sally Hansen Natural Beauty Color Comfort Lip Colors. I'm not sure if these are sold anywhere anymore, but just in case they are, or if you see them at a dollar store, um, the colors that I have are Sunbeam, which is this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. It's such a nice new color. I'm not going to swatch it because it hasn't been used and I don't want it to be used. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Sunbeam and then uh, Rose Bloom. Again, absolutely gorgeous color. Okay, and then I got a Sally Hansen Diamond Lip Treatment in Champagne Toast. And I, I mean, there's nothing... I can't describe why I like this so much, but I just do. And then again with the, I can't describe why I like it, but I just do. Um, these are two Sally Hansen uh, Line Smoothing Mineral Lip Treatments. Again, got these from the dollar store. And this one is in Pink Sapphire. And this one is in Citrine or Citrine. I'm not sure how to say that, but that's those. Okay, and then the last thing... Oh, actually, no, it's not the last thing. Just kidding. Um, second to last thing that I have a double of is the Revlon Double Twist Mascara. And this is just because it came in a pack of two. But I do like this. Um, so, like, I am happy that I have the backup. I'll definitely um, want to use this one after I use the old one up. Okay, and then the thing that just rolled out from underneath another package is this uh, Rouge Pulp. I'm, I think this is French. It's from L'Oreal. So, um, you're not really going to be able to see this, but... I don't know what that means. Anyway, it's a lip liner, and I bought this because I had another one. It's in, um, lay, oh, the, um, undressed mauves, or mauves. Anyways, I'm losing my voice. I've done, like, three videos today. Um, I got it to use with another lipstick because I thought it looked cool to sort of line my lips in this and then, like, feather it inwards and then put the lipstick over it, so, yeah. That was why I got this. So hopefully this is under the 15 minute limit. Um, if not, I'll edit it down. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. And please um, subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. Bye.